Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since my last upload, but today I am back to show you guys how I do this very bold look. And that bold look being inspired by a watermelon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't like watermelons. What? But my boyfriend suggested this to me and I thought it would be a fun idea, so here I am. Also with summer approaching, I wanted to do more fun, bold makeup looks, so I think this is perfect. Anyway, if you would like to see how I achieve this very bright and bold makeup look, then just keep on watching. 20 minutes later. Alright, now that my face makeup base is on and my eyebrows are on, I'm going to move on to my eyes. Alright, so I just primed my eyelids and I set it with a little bit of translucent powder. And the first shade I'm going to be going in is in my Aura and Out palette with Fresh Cut. And I'm just going to be placing it into my crease, just very lightly, to use it as a transition shade. And next, in my very dirty James Charles palette, I'm going to be taking this dark green right here. And I'm just going to be placing it just underneath the green that I just applied. Cut creases are getting easier for me. <laughs> I probably just jinxed myself, but it's okay. All right, my cut crease is cut. <laughs> and now I'm gonna be taking the lighter green of the James Charles palette and I'm gonna be placing it right in the center of my eyelid using a flat brush. And now taking fresh cut again. I'm going to be placing that in the inner third of my eye. I really want this green in the inner corners to pop so I'm just packing it on. Now I'm going to go back and forth between all three shades to deepen up, to blend the three together to make it as smooth as possible. <laughs> Alright, I think I am satisfied with how this is looking so far, but something is missing, and that something is glitter. So going back into this palette, I'm going to be taking Bling Heart, the glitter version of Fresh Cut, and I'm going to be applying that just to the inner corner of my eyes. And just like that, the outside of the watermelon is complete. <laughs> to finish off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be taking my Rivera palette and be going in with Bahamas. And I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line. Actually, on second thought, I'm going to change that to a red. Be right back. Alright, so I just switched the pink for a red. I used a red from the James Charles palette and now I'm going to be taking the shimmer red right beside it and I'm going to be placing it in the inner half of my lower lash line. This will give it a little bit of a pop, a little bit more dimension. The eyeshadow is all done. And now I'm going to be moving on to mascara and false lashes, but I'm going to be doing that off camera because I take a long time to do that. I'll be right back. Alright, mascara and lashes are on, and I think that really pulled the look together. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out, but I'm not done yet. I wanted this look to, to look more like a watermelon, but I didn't want to add black dots to my eyes representing the seeds. So I came up with this idea, it's probably not good, but um, I'm going to be taking some brown eyeshadow, I'm going to be creating fake freckles. 
that is still trending. <laughs> I don't know. And now I'm moving on to the rest of my face. All right, so to bronze my face, I'm gonna be taking my one and only Pula bronzer. And I'm just gonna lightly bronze my face. For blush today, I want it to be a little bit softer, so today I'm going to be taking the Morphe Cheek and Lip Mousse in Pinky Swear. It's just a very soft baby pink shade, and I'm just going to be applying it lightly. I don't know why I tapped that, it's mousse. It's actually a really nice shade, I've never used this blush before. I would use it again. And for highlighter, of course, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. one in Moonlight Pearls. It is my go-to highlighter. And last but not least, for lipstick, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. My sister actually gave this to me a little while ago, but I never really worn it yet, so I'm excited to wear it today. Be going with the lip gradient because we don't want to draw too much attention away from these bold eyes and after a minute this will turn matte and there you have it oh the freckles and here is the final look inspired by watermelon I'm actually super super happy with how this look turned out. I just went upstairs and asked my sister how she feels about it and she really likes it so that makes me happier. <laughs> and I think because of this I am going to be doing more videos based off summer fruits or just fruits in general. Inner corner of my lash lifted. I wonder when that happened. Don't do this at home. Do not do this at home. I don't recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I actually had a lot of fun creating this look. I don't normally do my makeup like this, but yeah, that's what made it fun. And I don't normally use these colors, so it was fun experimenting with them. So if you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and if you think I should be, yeah, this is why you should not do what I just did with the lash glue. Do not. Anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment what you think about this look. And if you have any other video suggestions, share with your friends and family and subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much. Bye. I was also going to add... Like this video if you want to see more fruit inspired makeup but i'm gonna do it regardless 